Okay. Nespresso. All of you heard of Nespresso? Yes. Of course, right? So the money comes from the capsules. And now we have H Lock Me. The money comes from the cartridges of the serums and moisturizers. Okay? And not only is it uh, based on consumption technology, you also have the ability. <laughs> You also have the ability to customize the serums and the moisturizers. Okay? Maybe you guys can just ignore the top screen. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, sorry, huh? Okay. Shocker. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not an Apple user. <laughs> Samsung, Android. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Ishlok Me has garnered awards, so uh, it is now actually we are looking at customization, which is the next trend in businesses. No longer are people satisfied with uh, uh, one solution fits all. We are looking at customization, and this is one of our first uh, gadget that actually employs the customized technology. Okay, and Ishlok Ishlok is actually based on genetic expression science. We are looking at actually reversing the activity of your genes from being uh, old to young again. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Because right now you are looking not and because when people associate uh, aging is using just the face, you are looking at the skin, which is the largest organ in your body, and your body, which is internally as well as your health. We want to be like we don't actually mind growing older, but we do not want to look like real old. You know, <laughs> stay active. Stay young, okay? So, is the demand for such things big? Yes. Of course, because everybody wants to look like uh, we are well preserved, you know? <laughs> because using Botox is not preservation, that's uh, toxic. And new skin is supported by uh, our 75 in house pet scientists, PhD scientists. Under them, you also have the network of scientists, also. So, they are like the, you know, these 75 are in house scientists. And we also have a collaboration with top universities for our research. And we have a scientific advisory board to actually advise uh, the way our scientists do the research. Uh, what I like about the scientist culture, uh, Mark Butler, Dr. Mark Butler, uh, the chief scientific officer, came down recently. He said that uh, he actually uh, was quite skeptical about joining New Skin because it was an MLM company the other day, the other time when he was uh, you know, poached. No, say push. Uh, head hunter, head hunter to join his skin. Uh, he was saying MLM company, but then he realized that the culture of uh, new skin, the scientists are actually very uh, engaged, very uh, very engaged in the scientific research, and they have the power to veto the scientific direction or the research direction if they are not happy with it. So imagine a company that allows the scientists to actually dictate where they are going. That speaks a lot about the company. Yeah? So it is a company that is really, really based on science. This nothing. This is actually very fantastic right? because you have a lot of companies out there which are based on just uh, marketing. So marketing, you can make a lot of claims, a lot of you can stretch the truth, you know. But when you base it on science, you don't really, you can't really stretch the truth because it has to be based on facts. And um, if a company doesn't have any game-changing innovation, right, then there is. Uh, there's this tendency to be stagnant at a certain point of time. After Steve Jobs died, what happened? Samsung get better, better. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> Just an example. Uh. So what I'm trying to say is that if you want to stay at the head of the game, right, you've got to be innovative. You cannot be... You just look at uh, Kodak. Kodak died. Right? Because digital photography was about film anymore. And, uh, but there are some people who tend to want to go back to film, but this is a very small niche market because they want to be authentic, right? But 
if you want to be ahead of the game, you got to be always innovating. And uh, New Skin has always, always been innovative. Uh, you look at the uh, S3 2003. Uh, we released S1 2003. You can measure antioxidants without uh, sending your blood sample to the clinic. And we are all moving uh, ahead to see the Lumi Spa this year. You are excited, right? Yeah. I am excited. I want, I want it now, actually. <laughs> but actually, what is uh, really promising for New Skin is that uh, the scientists uh, lately they announced that there are actually about 15 products in the pipeline. Oh. Can you imagine if 15 products times every two years they release? 30 years, right? Yeah. Got security or not? This is not <laughs> definitely right. Three decades. Can you pass it to your grandchild? Yes. Yeah, why not? But if, if you're going to a business that, ah, okay, la, I sell Lumi Spa, okay, really. Then what, what, what future are you talking about, right? Okay. <clears throat> so New Skin has been around since 1984. Uh, uh, maybe older than some of us here, <laughs> right? And, um, and it is also uh, traded in New York South Exchange. So it's a stable company. Uh, revenue so far, two plus four billion now. And we are gearing towards five or 10 billion in the future. Uh, and most importantly, it's a, global, uh, it's a global market. You can reach 54 countries. If you want to set up business, if you just want to focus on Southeast Asia, you know the, the, the famous saying, best in Batam, <laughs> Singapore, JV and Batam, three countries, right? Now you're looking at 54 countries. So it's a big, big market. And bear in mind, there's this big market that's not even open yet. Where? India. India. Yes, India. You get 1% of Indians, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you can Google all these facts. Forbes, most 100 most trustworthy companies. Stevie's, uh, which is actually looking at innovation. Of course, when you want to do, do due diligence on a company, Go and look for the positive stuff. Of course, there'll be some of those that you know talk about scam and all these things. You know, jealousy and all these kind of rampant out there. Try to filter and see the positive stuff. Okay, there are lots of them out there. And if if the company is traded on New York Stock Exchange, of course it's credible. Okay, these are the commissions. Like we mentioned before, uh, <coughs> company good, but commission not so good. Not really no point, right? Okay. So there are three tiers of how you can participate in this business. Uh, first, you can join as a distributor. Um, you can buy the products, enjoy the products, and you like it, you share, you get 5%. If you go to a cafe, right, you snap a photo uh, and then put it into IG, Instagram, do you get any 5% from the cafe owner? No. no. This one, yes. So this one is actually sharing economy. That one, share only, no economy. <laughs> <laughs> Zero only, yeah? Okay, but if you decide to earn more, then you sign the letter with that, the LOI. Then you uh, become you, you you become an executive, and you get nine to fifty percent uh, profit, and your uh, revenue will be between one k to two k. Good or no good? Good, good right? One to two k is about a rental of a HDB flat, right? Still okay. Okay, but if you want more. Let's say then you have to be master franchise. Uh, you consider the root of the master franchiser, which guarantees you up to six levels five percent. This is actually what attracts most of us into this business: the opportunity to get six level five uh, percent. You help the, the more people you help, the more you get. So at the top there is Blue Diamond. That is actually the income uh, based on Price Waterhouse, uh, uh, Price Water Cooper House. <laughs> Based on the estimates, this is the income that you get. Fifty k, is it good? Yes. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. A lot of things that you can do with fifty k. But that's that's not the cap. This is the average. You can even earn more. Okay. Not only that, you can also go for incentive trips. If you go outside, right? You do business. Will there be incentive trips? No, right? I don't think you even have the chance to go and abandon so-called, your business and then go for a long break. I don't think so. As a, as a traditional self-employed uh, business owner, I don't think this is possible. But here, the company actually uh, does incentive trips for us to set a goal uh, for us to work for. And then we can go and enjoy this with our family. And who wants to go to Sydney? Yo. <laughs> Not very the strong, you know, the boss. <laughs> Who wants to go to Sydney? Yay! Yeah, like that, like, it's not me, right? Okay. 
Okay, this is the proven uh, compensation. Uh, as of March 2016, we have uh, actually New Skin has actually uh, paid out a, a million dollar commissions to 1,200 uh, plus plus uh, uh, leaders, and that means uh, every three days we have a new MDC. Okay. And we were recently featured in Forbes magazine. When you were when you are featured in Forbes magazine, that means you are amount to something, right? Mm -hmm. You can't be any Tom Dick and Harry, you know. So you must amount to something. And last year, when we had our Southeast Asia convention, we recognized uh, 100 MVCs in Southeast Asia, and 25 came from our tiny red dot. Okay. <laughs> so who says Singapore cannot do this business? Who say it's saturated? Right, a quarter, you know. So we, the good thing about Singapore is we are a hub. Then we can jump to all the other uh, countries here. We have, you know, excellent uh, infrastructure. So, when do we need to join? No, no. <laughs> Not strong enough. When do we need to join? Yes. As soon as possible, lah. Immediately, right? Okay. We have a window of opportunity. If you. If there's no opportunity, right, then build the door. <laughs> <laughs> then you can come in. There's this story, right? Uh, this man, right, went to heaven, then asked God, I come, uh, my miserable life, you don't give me opportunities. Then God said, I gave you three opportunities, three men knock on your door, but you don't open.